Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. I just want to remind those of you who are new to this ship or company about a few things. Uh, probably the most important thing, as far as you're concerned, is your pay and your banking arrangements. It's really important that you let us know if there are any changes, such as a changed account number or uh, if you want to have it paid into a different account. Recently, a few crew members didn't get their salary on time because they'd forgotten to inform us that they'd changed banks. We do need to be kept up to date concerning any changes. I just want to remind those of you who are new to this ship or company about a few things. Uh, probably the most important thing, as far as you're concerned, is your pay and your banking arrangements. It's really important that you let us know if there are any changes, such as a changed account number or uh, if you want to have it paid into a different account. Recently, a few crew members didn't get their salary on time because they'd forgotten to inform us that they'd changed banks. We do need to be kept up to date concerning any changes. Morning, Captain. Morning, Mr. Addison. We seem to be running low on meat, fruit and vegetables. We'd better stock up before we set off, as we won't have the chance again for a few weeks. OK. Have you looked at the price list? Yeah, it looks fine to me. Uh, so could you order 30 kilos of pork, 40 kilos of beef, 100 kilos of potatoes and 75 kilos of carrots? OK. Do you want to order some more tomatoes and cucumbers? Uh, no, I think we've got enough. I'm a bit worried about the cook. He's not drinking again, is he? I know he went through a difficult period after his wife left him and he suffered from depression, but he seems fine now. No, it's not that. But I think he could be smoking cannabis. What? Yeah, I'm sure I could smell it on him yesterday. <laughs> I know what that is. It's the herbal cigarettes he's smoking. He's trying to give up, so he's smoking these herbal things that are supposed to help. They do smell terrible, though. Oh, that explains it. <coughs> Captain, I'm sorry, but I don't feel well. I've got a temperature and a sore throat and a cough. Yesterday I was working on the deck in the rain and the wind was freezing. My watch starts in an hour, but I don't think I'll be able to do it because I, I just can't concentrate. I've just got to lie down. Okay, you better go to your cabin. Have you got any medicine? Yes. I've already taken some. Good evening. This is the six o'clock news. Firefighters are still tackling a major fire on board a cargo vessel off the west coast of Scotland. According to reports, all crew members have been rescued and there are no fatalities. Several members of the crew have been taken to hospital and are being treated for the effects of smoke inhalation and minor injuries, which are not thought to be life-threatening. The vessel has been extensively damaged in the fire. So far, there is no evidence of pollution, but this is being monitored closely. We now join our reporter, Penny Taylor, at the scene.
I remember one strange passage where we had a chain of stoppages. We were proceeding off the coast of Mauritania in the fishing zone when we suddenly came to a stop. Why? Was it engine trouble or a blackout? Well, that happened later, but at first it turned out that the ship's propeller had become caught up in fishing nets. What happened? Well, we had... What have they checked on the bridge? Oh, the lot! A mass of documents, logbooks, ectus, radars, voyage, data recorder, and a lot more. He, even the paper for the echo sounder. Did they find any deficiencies? Uh, they were cancelled charts on the chart table. Unfortunately, that's directly in violation of the ISM code. They should have been removed to avoid accidental use. Oh, and thank God! You brought the fire extinguisher back after checking... Hey, your hand's bleeding. I warned you about that bent screwdriver. <laughs> it wasn't a screwdriver. I cut it on the barbed wire we were using against pirate attacks. You're always cutting yourself, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not always cutting myself. I've only cut myself once, and that was over a week ago when I was shaving. Okay, so I've seen the ship certificates, logbook and oil record book. Do you have a copy of the previous inspection report for me to look at? Yes, we just need to wait while the chief officer brings them in. In the meantime, I suggest you have a look at the crew certificates. Okay, so I've seen the ship certificates, logbook and oil record book. Do you have a copy of the previous inspection report for me to look at? Yes, we just need to wait while the chief officer brings them in. In the meantime, I suggest you have a look at the crew certificates. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find the hospital? Yes, it's in Bridge Street. It's about five minutes away by taxi, or you can take the number 42 bus. That'll take about 15 minutes to get there. Can I walk there? Oh, yeah. It's actually quicker than the bus, because you take a shortcut through the supermarket car park. You should get there in about 10 minutes. Look, we've had nothing but problems with this trip. We had delays with Port State Control in Mozambique, who detained us for one day for no real reason. Then we had that problem with suspected pirates off Madagascar. Not to mention those two stowaways who managed to get on board in Nigeria. So it's not our fault we're not going to be arriving on time in Namibia. It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of them. There was nearly a riot on my last vessel. The cook was absolutely dreadful. Can you believe they ran out of rice at sea? Not good when you've got a Filipino crew. We seem to have potatoes all the time, especially chips. 
Yeah, that's because the cook is British. I need to give him a lesson how to make bread. His tastes so sweet. I think he must put sugar in it or something. Typical British. I think they live on cakes. His pasta's actually really good, though. Yes, that's his speciality. He did some of his training in Italy. You don't look so good. No, uh, I've got a temperature. I've just taken it and it's 38.5. I'm going to lie down. What do you think caused it? I think it's working in the engine room. The temperature in there today was about 39. Then I go to my cabin and put on the AC and it's about 19. Yeah, going from hot to cold isn't good for the health. I try not to use the AC at all. But doesn't your cabin get unbearably hot? I don't mind that. Remember, I come from a hot climate, and I don't have cold blood like you. Anyway, I'm going on deck now for some air. It's a lovely... So, all your charts are in order and up to date. And you say you're going to place the instructions for the oily water separator next to it instead of leaving them lying around the control room where they shouldn't be. I'm still waiting to see the oil record book, which you're trying to find now. And you're going to sort out the seafarer's passport that will soon expire as a matter of urgency. Do you think the chief engineer has hearing problems? Where's the man overboard? How can we stop the pirates boarding? Where's the toolbox talk taking place? How long have you been on watch keeping duty? The ship's current course is 180 degrees. I am proceeding to your assistance. ETA 1545 UTC. I'll give you my email. It's penton0761 at hotmail.com. I'll give you my email. It's penton0761 at hotmail.com We will reduce speed 1.4 miles from the harbour entrance. It says here that 25.8% of seafarers in our company come from Ukraine. It says here that 25.8% of seafarers in our company come from Ukraine. 